Hello beautiful people, today we're going to be reading for the sign of Aries. Let's see what's surrounding your energy, honey. Illusions. Pleasure. And nourishments. I say to nourish your body. So eat more fruits and, and veggies. Get you some strawberries, some peaches, some mangoes, some papayas. Some dragon fruit. Get you some lemons and some limes. I feel like you should be drinking like some cucumber and lime water every morning as well. Okay. So your first crystal that came out was crystal cola. And it said who needs it? Anyone entangled in their 24-7 fear cycle propagated by the political media complex. Those who can never find the right words. You see how I couldn't even figure out what, yeah. Okay. Where to put it? Hold it to your high heart and breathe. When to use it when you feel small and vulnerable and are looking for someone to parent you. They tell you to learn how to be your own mama and your own daddy when you're inside certain situations, okay? So your next crystal right here is a diamond. So you've probably been feeling like you're up under pressure, but understand a diamond is never created without pressure, okay? So I say who needs it, who doesn't? Where to put it wherever you like to bling. When to use it when you've just got to when you just gotta keep it icy. When you want to make your intentions perfectly clear, when it's time to be your own unique light through the darkness for all to see. Own it with the diamond and it's telling you to shine your brightest. And what I get from that as well too, if you go outside um you may see um a shooting star within like the next like seven to 14 days and also what i'm getting from this too as well i really need to look it up because i didn't i didn't look it up in the last reading um if it's a full moon or if it's a new moon Whichever moon it is, you want to do some work with this room, okay? You want to release. Understand that whatever you release, yes, the full moon is actually, it says on the 15th and the 16th, so it really depends on your time zone, okay? Um, But this is the perfect time to go ahead and to start working on yourself before the moon. So whatever you know that you need to release, go ahead and release it and understand that this time with this full moon and then you got this eclipse going on and you got this retrograde going on whatever decision that you make with this full moon is going to be permanent okay it's going to be permanent okay so be careful what you wish for because you just might get it okay so your next crystal right here is rose quartz and it's saying who needs it in spaces you want to zone safe and sacred held with both hands to your heart with utmost loving and kindness um who needs it the overly self-critical sentient spiritual beings who love deeply those in the healing arts when to use it when you feel like you always have to be the ones who have it all figured out to work the hardest to hold it all together for everyone else rose quartz gives us a pink cashmere covered platform to be soft sweet and open to spirit and it's telling you to take care of your heart okay so you probably been having like some chest pains or something or you probably been having like some shortness of breaths and i honestly feel like it's been coming from something that you've been eating you probably grown an allergy to something that you um used to like to eat all the time that you still do eat and they're telling you to um to start evaluating the type of foods that you consume in because your body is changing okay your next card right here is opel and it says who needs it the all black wardrobe set can benefit from black precious opel's bold pop of color not so prolific art artists can ride find opel's burn where to put it general rule white and blue with the head pink vibes with the heart and black vibes with the lower abdominal when to use it when you have something that needs to get moving a project a relationship or an energetic block they tell you to feel your feels so you probably been having a lot of emotions coming up lately and they're telling you to just feel them and to just let them go because i feel like it's just a reflection of the past but it's like you've been holding it in so they like just feel it and just let it go you know what i'm saying 
and make sure you write everybody a thank you letter whoever you need to write a thank you letter to because your past is what made you so because you know that that incident with that certain person or with that certain job or with that certain group of people because you already know that that's what made you it's like okay well embrace it like okay god got me out of that situation god got me away from those people like thank you god like thank you god for protecting me thank you god for um for guiding me thank you god for shit just just for everything like i feel like you need to get you a gratitude journal and show god a little bit more favor because he he got you out of a lot of situations it's like i'm hearing the number 10 so i don't know if he spared your life 10 times i don't know if he came to you 10 times and you didn't know but whatever the case may be he wants you to go within and he wants you to connect with him okay he wants you to be still and know that he's with you he wants you to know that the way that you get in your money you can only get your money that way for so long he wants you to start investing like this is a warning like my my ear is ringing they want you to eat more corn as well. Something significant about corn. You should go look up the spiritual meaning of that. And it's like the message that's come. I'm sorry if I'm all, over, I'm all over the places, but I'm getting like messages like back to back. But they also, I feel like the corn, it has something to, to do with your harvest. So I feel like if you focus, if you start investing the harvest that you already got, you won't have to do whatever you're doing right now to get your money whatever it is whether you know what i'm saying what whatever it is it could be a job that you don't like a lot of people stuck at a job yep i'm hearing move i'm hearing the cow so something significant about cows or maybe they telling you that it's time for you to change your milk maybe you got like a maybe you lactose intolerant right now you probably got gas you got gas just get you some gas relief tea or get you some elderberry tea or some raspberry leaf tea. Or get you some sunflower tea. Or some simple, drink some simple green tea with some lemons and honey. Lemon honeys and mint. If you like gas. I feel like you got gas in, the, in your lower back. Like it's a big old bubble. Like it feel like you got a shit or it feel like you got a fart and it's not coming out. Okay? So you probably been seeing 11-11 or 1-11 and it's telling you to stay calm. Dogs look like fists. Like they ready to fight. Like they ready to punch. They like, no, baby, 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 stay calm. Okay? So this is going to help to assist with stillness, support, and balance. The benefits, it helps to reduce anxiety, supports muscular skeletal system, cultivates mental and physical restoration. Um, the affirmation is, I rest in the calm of inner balance and support. You ain't been getting no sleep. I feel like you got a lot of people that that pissed you off. And I feel like you're the type of person like where you dwell on stuff that people said. And you start to internalize it. And you just let it play over and over and over again in your head like a tape recorder. And it's just like, no, God allowed those people to say whatever they wanted to say because that's how they really felt. And sometimes God will allow certain people to say and do things to you as well so that you can wake up to either you can wake up and see like okay like this is a problem or you can wake up and see like okay this person is a hater and it's time for me to let this person go either way it's gonna benefit you you get what i'm saying all right so your next one is stability which is funny because the whole thing was about your stability okay probably been saying 777 or 717 god really wants you to change the way that you make your money okay this, this is another confirmation he said he's telling you this is your warning this is the ring 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 you probably been saying 911 a lot or you probably been hearing sirens a lot like this is your warning sign get it together okay it's gonna help to assist with releasing calming and grounding coming again okay the benefits, it helps to reduce stress and anxiety, re re relaxing effect on the pelvis and lower body, helping with menstrual issues, supports all illuminatory possessions. 
okay? The affirmation is, I release and trust as I send my my roots deep into my earth. They're telling you to tap in with your ancestors. So maybe you probably been thinking of try, trying to figure out, like, where you from? Um, pretty much, like, what tribe you belong to and all this and that if you've been thinking about doing that you should if you've been thinking about like doing some um doing some research like on the the, the hebrew bible or like any type of like um um egyptian work i'm hearing like the hieroglyphics and stuff they're telling you to do that because i feel like one of your gifts is that god communicates to you through symbols yeah you're telling me to stop okay so the next card right here is integration you've probably been saying 999 and 919 it's going to help to assist with integration freedom and wholeness the benefits it helps to assist all of the systems of the body supports overall health and wellness supports full breath and awareness balances right and left energy channels so the affirmation is i honor the divine union of my mind body and spirit okay so your next one is wholeness. You probably been saying four, four, four. Your body is integrating with each other. They're trying to tell you to um to figure out how you're gonna integrate um what you know now with how you're gonna move forward. The positive stuff that you know now with how you're gonna move forward. Okay, this is gonna help to assist with integration, union, and spiritual oneness. The benefits it helps to cultivate inner awareness and spiritual union. It helps to assist in integrating all five elements, helps to support our systems of the body to come into balance. The affirmation is I am perfect and whole exactly as I am. So accept yourself for who you are and for who God calls you to be. Your last card right here is vitality. You need some energy. Whatever you've been indulging in, that's what's sucking your energy out. I feel like you got a lot of people around you too. They call them the suck of his energies. I feel like you have a lot of those around you and they're trying to tell you to get rid of them because it's sucking up your energy and they um they tell you to pay attention to your patterns and your cycles this is going to help to assist with inner cycles fluidity and vital energy the benefits it helps to support reproductive and urinary have direct breath to the sacrum lower back and pelvis relaxes the lower body activates the flow of susceptible energy the affirmation is i open to the vital and susceptible energy that is within um and then your affirmation i don't compare myself to others because i am not meant to be a copy of anyone else i was born to be me an original one of a kind i am happy to be me i feel like that came out because i feel like like i said the the <laughs> the road that you're trying to take that's not the way i feel like the people that you're looking up to that's not the way i feel like god is calling you to take a detour um this says life doesn't have to be perfect in order for me to choose happiness today i choose happiness my intuition is strong and clear i trust the voice within i give myself permission to switch off my mind and to have some fun so i feel like you have been doing stuff to try to get your mind off of your reality but they're telling you to try something new to try something different because the stuff that you've been trying it's not working it's, it's actually hindering you and it's actually keeping you it's actually making you dig the hole deeper for yourself that everybody already dug for you that you was been supposed to get rid of so in order for you to climb out of that hole that that they dug for you you got to pull yourself out and in order for you to pull yourself out you got to clean yourself out because you not let they stuff latch on to you and then you not let your own stuff latch on to you and then whoever you sleep with you allow that person stuff to latch on to you so you have a lot of cleansing to do you have a lot of releasing to do um i let go of the past i trust in the future and i accept the present moment i feel like a lot of people you scared to cut off because you like oh well we've been knowing each other for these amount of years or oh this this person did this for me or this person did that like yeah you, you should you should count your blessings but you should also count the times when that person fucked you over or when that person was plotting against you or when that person set you up 
or when that person was smiling in your face and they was talking shit about you behind your back those particular people are the people that you need to get rid of because they was only served they only served their they purpose in that season. They, they they only had a season with you. Because if they were supposed to be with you going to the next level, they would have been a real A, a real A, you know, person all the way. And not just that, and, and not just part-time. They going to be real with you full-time and not part-time, Okay. So it's time for you to clear your energy. It's like God, I feel like God already stepped in and he gave you multiple warnings. He gave you multiple signs. Clear, clear your path. Clear your energy. Stop doing this shit. He gave you multiple signs. He, Like I said, you probably been seeing 9-11 or not. Now this is your last sign to stop your shit. And let go of your anger. If you need to go see a therapist, go through go go see a therapist. The way that I look at life right now, and I was gonna say this on the live, and I'm gonna still say it right here because it needs to be repeated. Because as adults, we also need to hear things more than once, just like kids, in order for it to click. And sometimes it don't click until a situation happens. Regardless, 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 regardless. Um As an adult, you are not responsible for your past wounds, but you are responsible for your healing, right? So, if you got money, if you got gas money to, to go to the plug and go to the club, you got gas money to go to the therapist and go to the spa, okay? If you got money to buy a 3.5 at least two or three times a week you got money to pay for a therapist at least once a month you got money to pay for a massage at least once a month okay so let me repeat this again if you got gas to go to the plug and go to the club you got gas to go to therapy and to go to the spa okay that's all I have for y'all. Y'all have a blessed week, and I'll see y'all next week. And don't forget to tap into the live. Be blessed.